Is the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G worth buying? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out. What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my review of the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Now the A54 5G builds upon the strengths of its predecessor model, the A53 5G, and that phone was launched about a year ago. Now that device was a huge success for Samsung, and I'm definitely expecting the A54 5G to continue on with that success. Now as far as pricing and availability goes, that does tend to change as time goes on, but I have left some links in the video description so you can see for yourself and also what's available based on your region. Now one thing's for sure, if you're located in the US, I would highly recommend looking to see if you can get this phone through a carrier, as the carriers do tend to offer some really solid discounts. So it is very likely that you can get this phone for a fraction of the price compared to buying it factory unlocked. Of course, you are stuck with that carrier, but if you're going to be sticking with your carrier anyway, then you may as well save a little bit of money. Now before I get too far into things here with the device, let's see what all comes included here in the box. Now the box that you get in the various packaging could be different if you get this phone through a carrier, but this is how things are for me. And you can see the packaging is very slim here, and one of the reasons for that is because there is no USB wall adapter included. But we do get a quick start guide, we also get a SIM card removal tool, and also a double-sided USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. So, as I mentioned, unfortunately there is no USB wall adapter included, so that is a bit unfortunate and you will have to supply your own. But overall, I'm really liking the form factor of this device. It does feature a 6.4 inch display, and we do have Corning Grill Glass 5 in both the display glass and on the back of the phone. And that's another thing that's new this year from the predecessor model of this device, is that we are actually getting a glass back for once. So that is very appreciated and a nice premium touch. Now the display that we're getting here with the phone is Super AMOLED. It does feature 120 hertz refresh rate and it is a 1080p display. Now colors are excellent here. We're also getting really good viewing angles too and everything looks really crisp and clear. This phone really does look and feel a lot more expensive than it actually is. Now with this device, we're getting a PPI 403, we're getting a 19 and a half by nine aspect ratio, so a more narrow but taller form factor, and we're getting an 82.9% screen to body ratio. So pretty small bezels all throughout. Now this phone does feature a hole punch for the front facing camera, and that front camera is 32 megapixels. Now stay tuned for later on in the video, as I'll be showing you a variety of different photo and video samples from all the various cameras on this phone. Now internally, with the device, we're getting 128 gigabytes of storage, along with micro SD card expansion. Now, 128 gigs is a pretty generous amount of storage. I feel like that'll last most people for a long time. And then, if you do want to offload some photos and videos to free up some of that internal space, then at least you do have that micro SD card slot. And it's also nice to see that the phone actually does still retain the SD card slot itself, because that is a feature that you don't really find with the higher end S series phones anymore. Now unfortunately with the A54 5G, there is no wireless charging, but this device does feature an in-display fingerprint sensor that is very fast and accurate. So as you can see right there, it works really well. Let's try that one more time. And there we go, very consistent. And in addition to the fingerprint sensor, we're also getting face unlock here with the phone. So I do appreciate that we have multiple methods for accessing the device. Now in addition to the 32 megapixel selfie camera, this phone also features a triple camera setup on the back. So we're getting a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera that can capture images at up to 123 degrees, and we're getting a 5 megapixel macro camera for close up images. Now here's how things look on the camera app on the device. This is with the main rear camera right now. Now keep in mind though, if you want to capture images at the full 50 megapixels, it's actually not enabled to do that by default. Instead, you've got to go up here and then go to 3x4 50 megapixel, and then you can actually take those 50 megapixel images. And then the results from that are really good. Then from there, we can head over to the ultra wide angle camera to fit a lot more content into the frame. I'm a big fan of the ultra wide camera and especially when traveling, it really does come in handy. It's a really cool way to capture more of my surroundings and kind of change up the look of my photos a little bit. We can also head over to the more tab where we can access the macro camera. And then with the macro camera, you can get very close up and have things be in really good detail. So the macro camera is really nice to have, but I don't quite use that as much as the main camera and the ultra wide camera. But we can also head over to portrait mode where we get those nice blurred out backgrounds. And there's even a slider here to adjust the blur. Then flip around to the front facing camera, there's me. You can take portrait selfies, or if you want, you can take standard selfies. And then another option too, is that you can crop out a little bit for group selfies. So even though the A54 5G is meant to be a mid-range device, I do really like that we're getting so many different cameras here, and then the actual quality is really good too. And I'll be showing you some photo samples in a little bit. 
Also, as far as video goes, this phone is capable of recording 4K video with both the front and rear cameras. Now internally here, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, we're getting six gigabytes of RAM paired up with the Samsung Exynos 1380 processor. So that's a decent amount of RAM, and then from my experience with that processor, it's definitely very capable for a mid-range device. So things run very smoothly, and you know, compared to a flagship phone that's double the price, if not more, than this device, it's not nearly as powerful, but you definitely should keep your expectations in line with the fact that this phone is a mid-ranger. And what I mean by that is that it's gonna be great for phone calls, text messages, browsing the web, going on social media, watching video content, doing all those various things that you typically do with a smartphone. But if you wanna do some more advanced tasks, such as video editing or high-performance gaming, you might notice some different slowdowns and frustrations here with the phone. But overall, for most people, I feel like it does get the job done. Also, if you do plan on using this phone as like your business phone, maybe you're always on the device, using it for different things, you might wanna go for something a bit more advanced, but again, for most people, I feel like this phone is very capable. And then with that processor, and as the name of the phone does imply, we are getting 5G support. Now at this point in 2023, I do think you can get by without 5G. That being said though, if you're gonna go through all the time and effort of getting a brand new smartphone, I feel like you should get one that does support your carrier's latest and greatest network. And fortunately, this phone does. Now I did run a benchmark test using Geekbench 6, and here are the scores that I got from that test. So I got a single core score of 1004 and a multi-core score of 2788. So what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of how the A54 5G compares to what you currently have. Because it is possible this phone could be slower than your current phone, or it might be faster. So at least the benchmarks kind of help give a clearer picture of that. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, we're getting a very large 5,000 milliamp hour internal battery. So with that, definitely expect to get a full day, if not multiple days of usage on a single charge. And what's nice too, is that you can rapidly recharge the battery here on the device with the 25 watt fast charging compatibility. Now keep in mind though, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you wanna recharge the phone at 25 watts, you're gonna need a 25 watt fast charger and that's not included. So you'll either have to use one if you already happen to own one, which you likely don't, or you'll have to go out and buy one. But I would definitely recommend using a fast charger with this device, considering that it does support that. And then also since the battery is so large, if you're using a lower wattage charger, it's gonna take forever to recharge the phone. So if you wanna see this phone recharge pretty fast, then you'll definitely wanna go for a 25 watt fast charger. Now, as far as the software goes here at the phone, it does feature Android 13, running Samsung's One UI 5.1. Now there's a lot to like about the software here in the phone. The first thing is Samsung does a great job with creating software with minimal to no bugs. So everything is very refined here and runs very smoothly. Also with One UI, Samsung does add a lot of their own features to Android, basically taking what's already great about Android and making it even better. So overall, I think the skin that we're getting here from Samsung is a really good thing. Also, the experience of using the software will be very familiar to you if you've used a Samsung phone anytime recently. And then another awesome thing too is that Samsung is one of the leaders when it comes to software updates for their phones. So for example, the A54 5G will be getting four years years of major Android software updates. So you'll get Android 14, 15, 16, 17, if I can count. <laughs> so it'll be keeping the phone nice and fresh and current. A few other features that stand out to me on this device, we're getting NFC, which is great. So you can use this phone for tap and pay using Samsung Pay or Google Pay. We're also getting IP67 dust and water resistance. So you can take this phone underwater for up to one meter for up to 30 minutes. And then we're also getting stereo speakers. So when you're listening to music or watching a video, you'll be getting audio out of both the main speaker in the bottom and also out of the earpiece. And that can't be said for some other lower end Android phones. But now that I've gone over a variety of different features and abilities of the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, let's take a closer look at some photo and video samples from this phone. Now I've been very impressed with the camera quality from the A54 5G. Now, don't expect to get top of the line camera performance or results because this is not a top of the line smartphone. This is a mid-range smartphone and it's meant to be affordable, but at the same time give you really good image results. So I'll let the photos kind of speak for themselves, but you can see here that things look great. Great colors, everything is nice and clear, and you'll definitely be able to take photos with this phone to post on social media and preserve various memories. Maybe you're going on vacation. This phone will be a great companion for that. And I also like that we're getting so many different cameras here, such as the macro camera, the ultra wide, and then also having portrait mode, which does work really well too. So overall, I don't have anything bad to say about the cameras here with the A54 5G. The results I've been getting from the cameras on this device are better 
than the previous generation, which is always a great thing. But in addition to that, the cameras just are really good in general. So don't be concerned at all related to the cameras here on the device. But let's now take a look at some video samples from the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here coming at you with a 4K front facing test video from the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Definitely curious to know what you think about the video and audio quality. And here is a 4K test video using the main rear camera on the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. And what's really awesome as well is that in this 4K recording mode, you can actually switch to the ultra wide angle camera while you're recording the same video clip. So I'll switch that over right now. And now we're using the ultra wide camera. So you can definitely fit a lot more into the frame here. But a really nice day today, really blue skies. I'm gonna switch back to the regular camera right now. There we go. In really fast autofocus and video mode, which is always very appreciated. Let's now talk a bit more about the hardware that we're getting here with the Galaxy A54 5G. So I already talked quite a bit about the front panel here, so we are getting pretty small bezels all throughout. We're also getting that hole punch for the front facing camera, and in general I think this phone has an excellent design. Samsung has really refined the designs of their A-series phones, and I feel like nowadays things are better than ever, especially for the A54 5G. Now on the left side of the phone we have nothing, on the right side we have volume up, volume down, and also the power button. Then up top here we have the noise cancelling microphone, and then also we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the bottom of the phone we have the microphones, we also have the USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and then also the main speaker. Then on the back of the phone there's not a whole lot, there's the camera module, flash, Samsung logo, and of course that glass back. So the glass back is definitely a nice premium touch here in the phone, I'm a big fan of that. It does pick up some fingerprints, which is common for any phone with a glossy back, but in general I think the phone has a great design and looks really nice. A variety of other budget Android devices have been launched, so I figured this video would be a good opportunity to kind of look back on the A04s to kind of re- the video viewing experience with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is really good. The display here is great for watching content. We're getting really good colors. I also like that you can crop in for a very immersive video viewing experience. And then having those stereo speakers really gives you a nice immersive audio listening experience. So the speakers get really loud. So if you just want to sit back, relax, watch a video or listen to music here in the phone, then this phone will be an excellent companion for that. But in conclusion, I really like the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G quite a bit. This phone is a really solid device and a really good successor to the previous generation. Samsung isn't giving us any extreme redesigns here. Instead, they're taking what was already great and making things even better. So I definitely applaud them for that. But I hope you enjoyed my review of this phone. If you did, definitely give the video a thumbs up and take a look at the various links in the video description to learn more. Also, check out all my other content about this phone here on the channel as I have done quite a few videos already. But with all that said, take care and have a great rest of your day.